Hello! My name is Audrey Schutte, and I worked on the characters and creatures in The Lost Age. I have been asked to show you guys a bit of my process for how I designed and painted the characters. For this one, I was given the prompt of an insect, insect-like humanoid with uh, long hooked limbs and gaunt features. Uh, I was given a little bit of a reference image base and the idea or image of the lobster moth caterpillar as a standoff point for or starting point for what uh, the skin would look like on this thing. So I gathered a bunch of reference images of different desert dwelling insects with uh, carapaces and chitinous skin and I also gathered a lot of gaunt human references which I'm just gonna say look for the guys inside of monster suits and movies they work fantastic for it um, so right now I've just started with a very loose sketch to kind of show a jumping or you know to have a little bit of a starting point here uh, depending on the concept how well it's known I'll either thumbnail it out or if I have an idea in my head I'll go straight to right on the watercolor paper uh, for this one it's straight to watercolor paper because usually for this game I've been getting pretty good prompts so it's pretty easy to just jump right in at this point so I'm starting out with a pencil sketch and so I'm just gonna draw him in now for the the lobster moth caterpillar they've got little little folds of skin essentially rolls of skin like you would expect a caterpillar to they also look kind of evil though they've got these front legs that are very spider like and the rear ends are a bit of a different almost like a mantis so we're going to be just using the the segmented body shape to give this guy almost like a a crest behind him because you know the prompt for this one is he's this ethereal being that is horrifying you know who feeds on emotions and essentially you know a horror movie kind of thing something you wouldn't want to run into so I almost want him to come off as not necessarily a like a savage thing but something that you know is cold and calculating something more like you know Dracula or a mind flayer so we're just going to give him these big crests to you know kind of show give the impression that he's he's something greater or smarter than we can understand he's got something going on in his evil brain
here we are. He's pretty much finished. I'm just waiting for him to dry and then I'll scan him in. And once I scan him in, I can do a little bit of digital cleanup or if need be add glowing effects or something like that to it. But for the most part, he's done and the traditional media part is finished.